The people of Elko are very proud of their town, and rightfully so. Elko is welcoming. You want to explore it, and when you do, it's hard not to notice the amount of art in downtown Elko. The art is not only beautiful, it's fun to look at, it also has stories to tell. I was curious to learn more, so I met up with Catherine Wine. Well, I have to be honest with you, I didn't realize that all these murals were all over the city of Elko. I mean, it really adds this vibrancy to the town. When did all this happen? Um, it's amazing. It happened just a couple of years ago, and it really has added kind of a whole nother dimension to the art scene in Elko. Before, we were, there was a, just a lot of cowboy and a lot of Western, which I love. There's nothing wrong with that. But the murals add this whole other kind of perspective to, to the art scene. Well, I know you had a lot to do with this art coming in, and I really want to talk about it. But first, I kind of want to get to know you. You're, you're from here originally, huh? I am. I am a fifth generation Elko Countyan. I don't know <laughs> if that's how you say that. And, and how has it changed? How has the town changed? Um, it has, it's certainly grown, but I feel like, like when I was a little kid, it was a small town. And now it's like a little city. There's just, like we're kind of growing up a little bit, which is exciting to be a part of and to, to I mean, the art is certainly part of that. Yeah, it sounds like, like you're really proud about the direction that Elko is going and that's good yeah, to hear. Yeah, for sure. I, I wanna talk about this. This is phenomenal. What am I looking at here? So this is a, a Basque mural. It's just one of the murals that we did um, a couple of years ago. So the Basque, um, the Basque people are, are very important to the history and the culture of, of Elko County and of all of Northern Nevada um, because of the sheep herding tradition. And so this is just kind of a depiction of some of that, of the sheep herding, like what we're, what we're standing in front of right now, the quakies, the sheep herders used to, to carve in quakies and, and all of these names that you see on here are our old sheep herders that came when we were painting this and, and put their name on, and on the trees. And literally participated they in did. this. Yeah, so it, this is really a community. It's, a, it's very important to the Basque people, even though it's just been here a couple of years, it's really important to them. There's people getting, you know, senior pictures and wedding pictures and stuff. You see them all the time in front of this. Because well, that was my next question, because this is a town that's, that's got some age to it. It's growing up. How has the town responded to all these murals? They love them like better than, than we even imagined. And we knew it was gonna be great, but like the Saturday of our mural expo, there were thousands of people that came out just to watch people paint. You know, in a, in a town this size, a thousand people, that's a big part of our population. And they were just walking around, just watching people paint, just so excited about the, about the new energy and the kind of the, and especially because all of the murals are located downtown, you know, it, it really, and this is our historic downtown and, and really kind of trying to bring, bring the community back downtown. So they've really been an important part of that. So you're expecting to see more art? I mean, is this an ongoing thing for this? For it this is, yeah. So we're planning um, sometime this year to do more murals. We're gonna move um, down down Idaho Street a little bit, like more towards the east part of town. So, but more murals are coming. Well, you got just a plethora of, of stuff to talk about. There's one down this way. Let's go take a look. Okay. The murals are throughout downtown Elko. They each have a unique feel and style. Some are very traditional, while others a bit more abstract. They're all great, and most are right out in the open, while some others are a bit more tucked away. It's like a game of hide and seek. It also helps in exploring more of downtown Elko. You're always on the lookout for some new piece. There's one mural that really caught my attention. Catherine was happy to tell me about it and the art scene in Elko. Where are all these artists coming from? Um, from all over the place, all over Northern Nevada. Some came out of Utah. Um, a lot of them are local. We have a, an amazingly large art community here. And, and part of that is just because Elko is so small and so isolated that we kind of have to do it for ourselves. We can't rely on a big city because there isn't one. Are you an artist? Um, well, I'm an architect. Yes, so. that counts. <laughs> it's one of the seven fine arts, right? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you present like you have a, a creative flair. Tell me about this big mural here. What, I, I brought you here for a reason because I wanted to know more about it. This one is so cool. This is about westward expansion because this street that we're standing on used to be the railroad. And so the little boy, who is actually the son of the artist who painted the mural, he is sitting on a train looking out 
dreaming about being either on horseback or in a, in a wagon, something more interesting than being on the train. What do you dream for the future of Elko? The sky is the limit. We are not looking back. We have, we've got more murals coming. We're doing, we just um, had the, the city council let us put some pedestals in our parking corridor. We're gonna start renting art from Burning Man or from other sculptures. Oh, really? Sculptors. They're gonna yeah. bring that in here? Yes. That's fascinating. Yeah. What, what about the cowboy? Cause I've been walking around looking at these murals and checking everything out. What about these boots? Our six foot tall cowboy boots? Yeah. Yeah, so in 2017, Elko was celebrated 100 years of incorporation. And so our group wanted to do an art project to celebrate that. And we thought, like, let's kind of go back to our, our blue collar roots and our blue collar economy and do boots because you can leave your boots on when you when you come to Elko. I got to tell you, this, this town definitely feels like it's on the rise. It's busy, it's vibrant. It's more beautiful than it's ever been. And in large part, due to your efforts. So thanks so much for everything that you're doing. Oh, thank you. And we appreciate you being here for uh, sure. It's our pleasure, trust me.